now, preview time. So let's take a look at what's coming your way.
What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews, exclusively here as always on the Casa D18 Studios channel. I, of course, am your host, the Renegade JJ Williams, and it's time to start a brand new theme here on the Casa D18 Studios channel. We're going to be doing back to school month. When I was younger, September was always when we would go back to school. So this September, I am doing movies that have to do with school in some way, shape, or form. The school plays a part in the story. And we are kicking things off with Back to School, starring Rodney Dangerfield, Sally Kellerman, Keith Gordon, Robert Downey Jr., Sam Kennison, Adrian Barbeau, William Zabka, Ned Beatty, Jason Hervey, and a cameo by Oingo Boingo. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for joining me here once again for another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews. And like I said during the introduction, we're starting a brand new month, brand new theme here on the Casa D18 Studios channel in Renegades Reviews. It's back to school month. When I was younger, we would basically start school the day after Labor Day, and we'd go to about the week before Father's Day. That was our school year. So September this month, we're doing all kinds of movies that have to do with school. We've got Rodney Dangerfield going back to college, going back to school here. We're going to take a look at some movies taking place in the inner city schools, like Dangerous Minds, The Substitute. We've got some of the Brat Pack movies. We've got a day in detention from The Breakfast Club. we got Ferris Bueller taking a day off of school. We've got so much cool stuff coming up this month. And what better way to kick off Back to School Month than with Rodney Dangerfield and Back to School. And as our movie opens, Thornton Maloney is a child of Italian immigrants, and he returns from school one day to his father's tailor shop, bearing a report car with poor grades. Now, Thornton's ambition is to go into his father's line of work, but his father warns him that if a man has no education, he's got nothing. As the decades pass, Thornton changes his last name from Maloney to Mellon, and ends up becoming a self-made corporate giant with a successful chain of plus-sized clothing stores, as well as numerous other business ventures. Feeling dejected, though, when his college student son, Jason, cancels a visit with him, Thornton then returns home to a party being hosted by his wife, Vanessa. Finally weary, though, of Vanessa's nasty attitude and adultery, Thornton files for a divorce and asks his bodyguard, Lou, to drive him to Jason's college campus. On the campus, Thornton learns from Jason that he is unhappy with college life. He is a towel boy for the school diving team instead of a member. He is constantly antagonized by team member Chaz Osborne, and he has no friends except for his roommate, Derek Lutz, and he intends to drop out of school. Now, Thornton is able to motivate his son to stay in college by deciding to enroll alongside him. Despite Thornton's lack of academic qualifications, the dean David Martin decides to admit him when he bribes the dean with the donation for a brand new campus building. As a result, Thornton's bribery earns him the wrath of Dr. Philip Barbe, who is the dean of the business school there at the college. His displeasure is further exasperated by Thornton's canny practical experience clashing with Barbet's hypothetical theorizing during class, as well as his romantic interest in Barbet's girlfriend, the literary professor, Dr. Diane Turner. Meanwhile, 
Jason begins to attract the interest of Valerie Desmond, a girl that Chaz has been trying to impress. Jason's popularity on campus has also begun to increase thanks to his father's generosity and party throwing. Jason even earns a spot on the diving team as well after Thornton, who is a former diver himself, convinces the diving coach to reconsider Jason. As a student, even though Diane is inspiring a deeper appreciation of literature, Thornton prefers partying to studying. Thornton even goes as far as to hire a team of professionals to complete his assignments, including author Kurt Vonnegut, to write a paper on Vonnegut himself for his literature class. Much to Thornton's surprise, though, Diane gives the paper a failing grade for obviously not being his own work. And she becomes disillusioned by his partying behavior. Jason is also upset with Thornton for trivializing education while mistakenly believing that Thornton bribed the diving coach into accepting him onto the team. In addition to all of that, Dr. Barbet accuses Thornton, in the presence of Dean Martin, of academic fraud and challenges Thornton to pass an oral examination given by all of his professors with Thornton to face expulsion if he fails any part of it. Believing that he has absolutely no chance of passing, Thornton packs up and he prepares to leave. But Jason stops his dad and successfully encourages him to stay and prepare for the challenge ahead. With limited time to prepare, Thornton crams for the examination with the help from Jason, Derek, Lou, and Diane. And when the big day comes, Barbe begins the examination by trying to intimidate Thornton with a single 27-part question. Nevertheless, Thornton is able to answer every part, although the effort was so much that he wants to forfeit the rest of the exam. But Diane inspires him to finish the examination, and he does. At the championship dive meet that day, Thornton and Jason reconcile, while Jason's team takes the lead. In order to spite Jason for his performance and for winning over Valerie, Chaz fakes a cramp in an attempt to make his team lose. The coach decides to recruit Thornton as a last-minute replacement, and Thornton helps the team win by performing the legendary Triple Lindy Dive. Afterwards, Thornton learns from Diane that he passed the examination with all D's and a single A, which Diane gave to him. At the end of the school year, Thornton gives the commencement speech, advising the new graduates to move back in with their parents as our movie comes to its end. New month, new theme, movie I have never seen before, believe it or not. I was kind of too young for Rodney Dangerfield in his prime. I never got into him, never really understood him. I never got into his shtick. But watching this movie, I can get it now. I totally understand why he was as humorous and as funny and as loved as he was. Seeing a very young Robert Downey Jr., with like bluish, reddish, greenish hair looking all punk rock. Hilarious. 
to see that this man would then go through all of his issues in the mid to late 90s and the early 2000s, come out of this to become Tony Stark, Iron Man. Sam Kinison, another hilarious 80s comedian, gets to play one of the professors in this. And Danny Elfman, this was the third film Elfman did a movie score for. And he, alongside his band Oingo Boingo, performed Dead Man's Party in a party scene throughout the film. So not only is Danny Elfman in his infancy scoring movies here, he's also in the role, in a cameo, with his band Oingo Boingo performing probably one of their biggest hits, a lot other than Weird Science, in my opinion. Dead Man's Party is a track that makes it onto my Halloween playlist every year. So getting to see them in action performing is very cool. This movie has been parodied in the past. Some of you who remember the band Sum 41 from the early 2000s, their music video, In Too Deep, was a play off of the dive meet in the, the finale of this film with the triple indie jump being at the very end of the music video. So you've obviously got influence there. This film has resonated with, at the time of that video, obviously, modern culture. I mean, a lot of people don't talk about Sum 41 much anymore. The video is probably 20 years old at this point. But at the time it came out, you know, the the movie in itself was probably close to 15 years old. So the legacy that it's left with that dive and everything. I enjoyed this film. You know, I'm not really sure why I avoided it so long once I got more into Robert Downey Jr., and I started to understand Dangerfield a little bit more as a grown-up. I don't know why I avoided this film for so long, but I'm glad I watched it. I'm glad I made this be the movie to kick off Back to School Month, because what better movie, in all honesty, than Back to School? When it comes to my rating for this film, I'm going to give this three and a half out of five stars. I know maybe that doesn't sound like a lot, but considering this was only my first time seeing it, considering that I feel like maybe I need to see it a few more times for it to really rise up the star rankings for me, I I still feel that's a high grade for this film, considering that it's going on almost 40 years old. It's definitely 35 at this point. But I I feel like for me being the first time I'm seeing this film, Three and a half out of five is a good grade. What do you guys think of Back to School? Let me know. If you're watching the premiere, leave your thoughts and comments over here. If you're watching on demand later in the day, leave your thoughts and comments down here. Let's engage in that conversation. Let's have that discussion. Debate me about Back to School. Make sure you guys tune in tomorrow, right here to the Casa D18 Studios channel, for another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews, and it's new release Saturday, and we're going to be taking a look at Secret Headquarters, starring Owen Wilson, Walker Scobell, Keith L. Williams, Michael Pena, Jesse Williams, Charles Melton, Abby James Witherspoon, DK Metcalf, and others. You're not going to want to miss out on any of that content right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel right here on an all-new installment of Renegades Reviews. To all my loyal fans and viewers out there, thank you so much for tuning in and joining me here today. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure that notification bell is turned on so you can get all the latest notifications anytime a video goes live right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel. Make sure you share this video with your family, friends, loved ones, movie fanatics, cinephiles, 
Rodney Dangerfield fans, Robert Downey Jr. fans, Oingo Boingo fans, Adrian Barbeau fans, anybody you can think of who would enjoy my review today of Back to School, share this video with them. It's how we're going to boost up my visibility in the YouTube algorithms, help me get monetized by the end of the year. Thank you once again to all of you who joined me and tuned in today. That means more to me than you'll ever know. And I will see you guys next time.